Alright everybody, we are back, and this time playing some Cho'Gath in the top lane. We're going to be going full AP with a nuclear Cho'Gath build. We're going to see if we can hit him. Nice. Getting those Qs down while in the bush is uh, it's very needed, for sure. To try and poke him down a bit. I guess I should have waited for my Arcane Comet, but I saw the opportunity, so I had to take it, right? But yeah, against uh, Aatrox, kind of difficult. Because Aatrox does have a lot of healing built into his kit, and he also usually buys a lot of healing, so super obnoxious for us matchup-wise. But we already got his pot out. And is that hit? It hits. Eh. Well, I mean, I don't really lose anything off that, so that's okay. Oh, what? He just decided he wasn't gonna dodge. Okay. If this hits. Oh, if that hit, he would have died, possibly. Goodbye. Nice. That's really big for us. We'll try and push us in. He's going to TP, though. So, he should be right here, yep. And we're going to use our time to head back. So, I think I'm going to go Rod of Ages with this setup. I've been thinking about, like, builds and whatnot for Cho'Gath, and I think Rod... I think Rod into Shadow Flame is the build, because... The magic damage and true damage critically strike. So basically, once you get somebody under the 35% uh, health threshold, you actually just basically kill them with Shadow Flame with your alt. Okay, uh, I don't know what, what he was planning to do there, but... That is not good for him. Where is he? Oh. I lost cannon. It's okay. I'm okay, Ivern. I'm okay. Thank you, though. Oh, I was hoping that'd just clip him. It, does, it doesn't matter how it lands, it just has to land. Nice. And because we're running Ultimate Hunter, now our alt cooldown was lower, so I can instantly use alt on the minions. And then we can shove this in. We can actually grab a tower plate and then recall it with the uh, using our TP. Yep, nice. Take out pretty much a quarter of his health. I really like going for absolute focus with this build because you stay relatively healthy almost the entire lane phase. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, he might just let him die, or maybe not. Yeah, as long as our team just doesn't die to him. He can have the one, it doesn't matter. It's the team that gets five that 
really matters. Oh wait, he got two. Okay, maybe not as good. <laughs> Never mind. I thought we had uh, two and they had one. So yeah, denying the next set of grublings is what really matters. Nice. He has no alt now. Eh, it's okay. I don't want to lose cannon. Which I almost did by accident. It's brand. Okay, he should be dead here. Goodbye. <laughs> nice. With AP build, I like going uh, Q, W, Max instead of E. The E is nice just for like the slow early to put the one point into, but I think the silence and the, the damage from W's a lot more beneficial. But yeah, let's head back and grab Rod right away. Uh, yeah. This is pretty good. Because it gives you everything you want on this champion, right? HP, uh, AP and mana. Now you're just never, you never run Oom um with this build. With mana flow and rod, you never run Oom. Um, like, ever. It's just not possible. And then, like I said, we'll go Shadow Flame. And then after Shadow Flame, we can kind of just decide from there what we think is best depending on game state. That's cursed. I should have just altered it. I held on for greed. But yeah, the threshold is essentially since it's uh 411, which is pretty much 30% of somebody's health always in the game, uh by the time you're actually going to get Shadow Flame. The Shadow Flame ult will always crit, so. Big, uh. Big dubs there. But yeah. I'm gonna wait for him to. Go in. Aw, oh, that doesn't hit. Dang it. He's so lucky I didn't have ulti again. I mean, if I had ult again, that would be... Th there would be an issue with this champion, right? I'll just push him off, use my abilities. What the heck is he doing? Oh no, she's dead. Or not. Oh, what the? <laughs> he has been munched. He has been munched. There's no way. Wait, do they have an eco? They don't. <laughs> what are they doing? I 
I have a feeling Cho'Gath's actually hit an OP jungle. Because I feel like his clearing would be quite good. What the heck are all these bushes? Jeez. Alright. We're going to shove this in. We do have blue. Their balling is ahead though, so we have to be careful. Look at that damage. I usually like to max W, but I think the range difference is massive into a lot of these matchups. Like having the extra range to poke somebody down or run away with Q is huge. We have four stackies. Nice. Not to mention, we also get a level once this is fully maxed. I'm just gonna ult that. My ult's on a pretty low cooldown. I won't have enough to kill him. I could have maybe killed him with another uh, auto attack, maybe, but if he heals with D-Blade and then I die, that's horrendous for me. Oh yeah. They won't be FFing. That is one strong AD carry. He's gonna be a problem. Uh, let's not head back here. Still need another wave. We're just gonna wait. I was going to say, is that Aatrox? No, it's not. Is he on Rift? Like, where is this guy at? Well, I have no idea where he's at, but I'm going to take this turret. Let's see. And no, he's right there. We got the drag though. Um, I think I go Ionian because. So this is my thinking. This already getting the magic pen. At worst, I can grab a Void Staff if I need more. But, I think having... Like, I think having my, uh, my Q and W up as fast as possible is more important. Yeah. Oh, what? I got juked. <laughs> I got accidentally juked. Oh, he's fast. I have to flash that and then turn on the brand if possible.
And then now I go onto this guy. Okay. Yep. It's a good thing I got the Ionian. Having a lower cooldown on these two is just so important. Good drop a ward here. That way I can see if Hecarim runs at me. And there he is. I don't have alts. There's no way that just worked. What? Dude. That was that was hilarious. Oh man. I can see Aatrox. Oh, and the FF. Dude, this nuke build is hilarious. It just does so much damage. I think these three items on Cho'Gath are just insane, and if I hit 10, I would have had another level on top of that. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.